So y'all brought Vince in. By the way, I know I know those after practices, you and Vince. Who was more athletic, man? You or Vince oh, at that time? Vince. <laughs> I, I, I'm not fucking with him. He was he was incredible, you know. Before we realized we were cousins, I played on a junior team Florida and he was on the big boys team Florida. So I used to play before him. And I used to, the shit that I used to see him do in high school, like damn near touching the top of the backboard, looking down and dropping the ball in the basket. Like it, it was incredible. Incredible. Wow. A lot of people like Vince in high school, bro. I think he broke his right, his wrist in the state finals. He broke his wrist and dropped 35 with the left hand. What? Yeah, man. Vince is basketball, bro. He's one of the most talented dudes ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Ever. I agree with that. I've always told people like, and from just from what I can see from afar, like, yo, Vince Carter has to be one of the most talented players that ever stepped foot in the ever, NBA. Ever. Ever. Yeah, yeah that, it's, it's incredible. But um, so now you look at today's NBA, right? You, you're coming out 6'8". Uh, do you think today's NBA, you, you would have thrived even more than you did <laughs> when, on, when you played? Boy. Because I think so. I think so, Because Drake. you just look at the game, right? Like, the way you play... All the hand checking y'all have to do. see. A lot of guys get mad when 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 the guys from before us say, "Oh man, the league's soft today," or they could. The reality is, the league is soft today. It it, it, it is. I mean, let's call the spade a spade. It is. It's, the rules are a lot different. You know what I'm saying? And it, come on, man, guys shooting three pointers or shooting shots now, and you land on somebody foot, it's a flagrant foul. Like Absolutely. how the hell you contest shots without? You know what I'm saying? Like that. The, the rules make the game soft. Not the players. It's the rules. Yeah, That's what we're absolutely. talking about. I, I think people misinformed uh, that, you know, we're talking, when we say the league is soft, we're talking about the players. It's the rule changes I that agree. we're talking about. Um, so, yes. Will I thrive? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you got to think, in our era, bro, the, some of the scores were 75 to fucking 76. Yeah. You know, finals were in the 60s, right? And yeah. I have 30 points. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have 35 points of that. So, yeah, man, I mean, there, there's no question, bro. You can't impede my progress. And it's not like I was just a guy that, you know, scored with the ball in my hands. No, I was yeah. catch and shoot as well. I did everything. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, yes, I will definitely thrive in today's game at a high level. I agree. Well, is, is there a player in today's game uh, that you see that remind yourself of you? I mean, you got PG, um, KD, uh, those, those two I can think of um, that really reminds me of myself. Um, KD is just a different breed, though. The way he shoots the freaking ball, man, he just, he, he's it's just unbelievable talent. Uh, but, but PG as well, you know, those guys being able to score at multiple levels. Yeah. No, I, I, I like PG game a lot. And I, I like that comparison, just the way. Y'all both handle the ball, shoot the ball, get to the cup, athletic, or put you in the rim. Mm -hmm. However you want it, you getting that. Uh, yeah. I, I definitely respect that. But uh, just just going back uh, some in, in your playing career. So you had those years uh, with the Raptors, and then you move on to Orlando. And I love to hear your perspective, but from my perspective as a young kid watching, I felt like, like you said, you went to the Raptors, and then Vince came and you and you were in the shadow. And all of a sudden, to me, like it it really took me to like really brush up on my history and like go back and actually to realize that, hey, T Mac is actually older. Well, not older, but you were older than Vince as far as Coming years into the in the league. league. Yeah. But when Vince came in, it was like you was you was in the background and playing the yeah. shadow in Toronto. Because for me, watching all of those years. I felt like your career really took off when you went to Orlando. Like, mm -hmm. that's when Tracy McGrady became T-Mac, when you went to, to Orlando. Can you walk me through that? Yeah, so, it, it you know, it had nothing to really do with Vince, be, you know, me being in Vince's shadow. Um, mm -hmm. My third year in Toronto is really when I turned the corner and really showed that, you know, 
all right, this kid is really, really talented because uh, I averaged like 15 points for that season. Was, I was like the third or fourth option for that team. And then in my first playoff game against the Knicks, I had like 26 points. Like I, I balled out. Um, had a really good series against a tough New York Knicks uh, team. But it was so much internal, you know, problems that was going on that people didn't know about. And then also, I mean, Toronto was competing against Orlando, which, you know, I'm, I'm from that area. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it had nothing to do with bench. This is just, dog, I want to go back home because I remember when I was a kid, I used to drive by the arena and I used to tell my mom, I'm going to be playing in there one day, right? Yeah, so absolutely. this opportunity had presented itself and G Hill was there in Orlando. I thought we was going to get Tim Duncan, but even just myself and G Hill, you know, it's like, damn, we're going to be all right. I got this. This is a, a perfect move. Um, and then we know what happened with G Hill. You know, he had the, <clears throat> the, the ankle problems the year before he joined, you know, Orlando in Detroit, he uh, broke his ankle. So it was like, here the keys, young fella. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Just drive us. We don't know. We don't know where we going, but you got the keys and you bought the drivers. Let's see what you got. Um, you know, and I, I put a lot of work in that that first year I was with Orlando off season, like to to really uh, push my push myself to exhaustion to you know in, improve on every aspect of my game. And I surprised myself, Dre. I, I'm not even going to lie. I think I averaged probably 26 that year. Like it was wow. the biggest uh, point differential from you know one year to the next. And it was just incredible what I was able to do. And that was just a manifestation of the work that I put in that off season. And then, you know, the maturity and the confidence grew to another level to where I just felt, you know, extra comfortable out on the basketball court. Yeah. And you won most, most improved that year, right? On most improved that year. Yep. Yeah. All, All NBA, NBA second team. Yeah. 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 Like, it, was, it was a lot of stuff thrown at me that year. And I was, and that's when, it, you know, it, it, it's, I don't know if there was a game or what it was that really had me like, okay, I belong. I, I belong here and, and, and this is what it's going to be. But, you know, I, I think competing against Kobe, you know, around that time and, and holding my own because Kobe is, you know, in his, if it was my fourth year, he's in his fifth year and he's, he's that dude. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? That's that's the number eight with the fro. He, he was that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was that he was that dude. So I'm like, damn, if I can, he's the bar. So if I'm competing against him every night, oh, okay, I belong here. This is what it is, right? So mm -hmm. it's just staying focused, sacrificing, and and, and really understanding, um, you know, that these these folks are really counting on me. And to to back up, I think I'm the first guy to be a non-starter to sign a max deal. Like I didn't yeah. start. I didn't, yeah, I didn't even start when I was in Toronto. And then I went to Orlando and signed a max contract. 